Hi everyone, welcome back. Father's Day is coming up this weekend and I always kind of have a meh feeling about that. My father was an alcoholic. He died in uh, 2003. Um, I hadn't seen him since I was 15 because he went back to Alaska. He's an Eskimo. Um, he used to beat my mother and they separated when I was seven. I don't remember any of these beatings, I blacked it all out. Obviously, they were very traumatic for me as a young child. I never hated my father, though. Probably maybe because I don't remember any of this. I always just thought, I love him, he's an asshole. Um, but I always felt, and this is a child's perspective, please understand this. I always felt that I wished I'd gone with the other parent because I felt my my dad and I had an affinity to each other more than my mother and I. This was just my childhood mind because I have dark hair, dark eyes. My dad had black hair, black eyes. Um, I didn't have his brown skin. I had my mother's pale skin. She had blonde hair, blue eyes, freckles all over. She was loud, boisterous. My dad was quiet reserved, which I was. I was shy. I didn't, you know, we even, both of us were so quiet in the house whenever we'd come up to my mother, you know, and tap her on the shoulder or try to get her attention, be like, you know, mom, she'd be, oh, Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. Stop being like your father. That was my mother. Because <laughs> I walked on the balls of my feet. I didn't want to be noisy. I, did, I wanted to be quiet like my dad. Also, I had an, why, another reason why I was fond of my father was that every Sunday was my day. We would have breakfast and then we would go out for a walk. We wandered around. We didn't talk all that much that I remember. It was just, for me, was enough to be with my dad. He would just hold my hand and we would just go to the park or wander here. Of course, by lunchtime we were in a bar, he was drinking, and I was having chips and soda, and then we'd make it back home about four in the afternoon and have dinner and everything. But, um, I was still, this was my day, and no matter what my mother would do, if she asked my father to do something for her on Sunday, he'd go, no, no, this is the day I spend with my daughter. I do have one really good memory. Um, we were lying on the bed watching TV and we were, had a bag of uh, Hershey's Kisses and my dad was eating the Hershey's Kisses, rolling up the tin foil and throwing it off the end of the bed. And I looked at him like, well, what, is I, what am I supposed to do with mine? And he, he motioned. My dad rarely talked. He just could give you, he talked to me by hand gestures most of the time or eye, eye movements. And he said it was okay, yeah, yeah, you know, do the same thing, roll it up, throw it off the end of the bed. So we were doing this while we were watching the movie. And then my mother came in, and she looks down at the floor, and she's like, Oh my God, look at this mess, what the hell are you two doing? And my dad just kind of looks at her, stares at her, and just shrugs his shoulders. I see him do this, and I do the same thing. Like, what are you going to do? Where else are we going to throw them? She's, my mother's like, oh, you too, god damn it, and walks back into the kitchen. I know it's weird, but that's my fondest memory of him, that and her walks. Um, my dad never quite got white man's world. He, ne he never understood it. He was from a small town in Unicleet, Alaska. The only reason why it's on the map is the Iditarod dog race goes through it. Um, but the philosophy I always thought that summed him up best is the old, what's called the Irishman's philosophy. The one that says in life there's only two things to worry about. Either you're sick or you're well. If you're well, there's nothing to worry about. If you're sick, there's only two things to worry about. Either you get well or you will die. And if you get well, there's nothing to worry about. But if you die, there's only two things to worry about. Either you go to heaven or you go to hell. If you go to heaven, there's nothing to worry about. And if you go to hell, you'd be so busy shaking hands with all your friends, you don't have time to worry. 
I'm pretty sure my dad didn't believe in heaven because he believed in his own uh, native faith, uh, which was his an dead ancestors and probably shamanism. But he pretty much saw the world in a very black and white way, and he couldn't understand why white men fussed about everything. And I even remember him asking me sometimes for clarification as a child, why? Why is this man worrying about that? He's got a car. He's got a job. He's got a wife. He's got children, or whatever it was. I don't get it. I don't understand. And he never did. I want to wish everyone a happy Father's Day and uh, kudos and applause for those moms doing double time and have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.